What's up YouTube? It is Mr. Ferguson here once again. Thank you guys for coming back for this Wednesday video. Um, as we mentioned, if you're looking for the midweek quickie, um, we have moved that over. Um, I know I keep saying it over and over and over again, but for the folks that may not have heard or know, we moved the midweek quickie over to my personal channel and it's called Mr. Ferguson Vlog. You can search for it right here on YouTube. Uh, I would ask that if you would subscribe, um, even if you don't care about all the other content that may be listed there, subscribe to the channel. That is where we're gonna have the midweek quickie going forward. It's something I prayed about, something I've been thinking about for several months. So we went ahead and went forward with it and that's why I'm announcing it here today. So here on the Mr. Ferguson Lawn channel, Sometimes on Wednesdays, if I have content to bring to you guys, I'll make a, a shorter type video on Wednesday, and uh, that's what you're watching here today. I don't know what we'll call it. We'll probably dub it something different in the future. Uh, you guys can leave comments below if you have an idea of what you think uh, the midweek lawn care video should be called. Let me know in the comment section below. But today, um, we're down here near my shed. I want to talk to you about something that's happened recently, show you what I've done. Um, I didn't film any of this, but I just want to kind of bring it to your attention have a quick discussion it's more of a shorter format video just want to show you something down here that's new to my property and something that i've added to it today and uh, with that said let me turn the camera around and let's go over here and talk for just a little bit thank you for joining all right so normally you know i do all my filming up here on my porch down here and we're down here by the shed area i actually if you guys remember the old um husqvarna mower i had when i started this channel we've now got the honda mower uh, again shout out to my brother my sister-in-law they came through god laid it on their heart to bless me with this when i was having mower issues in early fall and they blessed me with this honda mower love it cuts tremendously you guys have seen the cut out here in my lawn how well it cuts it's got the double blade system and it cuts awesomely but the husqvarna has been setting right here that me and my dad replaced the carburetor we replaced the spark plug we got that thing going and i've got somebody coming today to pick it up i'm giving them the the new blades we got i'm giving them the bag and all the the bells and whistles everything that came with it it's a good deal and so finally i've got more space in the shed but while i was down here and i was in the shed up here up top i was like hey i forgot i've got some of this Den shade mix, which is what we've talked about. We've put around the shed area, around the areas during the summertime, around these areas over here in the playground that uh, when the leaves come on the tree, we get a lot of shade. And what I was thinking about was I need to apply some of that. So first, before we get into the seed, you notice this little tree here. Now, I am not a tree expert. My wife is better than me. You guys have seen where back, I think last year and maybe around this time last year, we planted these trees as just like a, a natural fencing on both sides before our other neighbors left. We've uh, mulched around it and just to give a little bit of privacy to them and us. And so it's a similar type tree here, but this was up at our church and uh, we pulled one out that was completely dead, but this bad boy was not dead. We had drug it over to the woods and my wife's like, hey, why don't we pr plant that on the property line? So one of those days where it was rainy, it was uh, the ground was real soft. Remember, this was her shade garden. I even said it a couple videos back. You know, back in the day, we would burn things here, burn trash, hang out with the kids. Well, my wife kind of turned it into some plants that she planted here for the shade. Didn't really work out. So we said, hey, let's plant it right here on the property line. But we came out here, had a big old root ball. We dug way down, probably three feet, and got this sucker in the ground. And then as I was thinking about it, making videos the other day, as I was mowing and stuff, I was like, man, why didn't I throw down grass seed? We are in a shaded area. We got the shed right here. Let me back out of the camera here. There we go, the wide angle. We've got this area where all of this in this general area is the dense shade mix from Jonathan Green. We've got straight above, we've got room for the plant to grow and grow up. But all of this is going to be filling in with leaves very soon, and this is going to be a shaded area. So I thought, what a better experiment to test in the shade here in North Carolina than to throw down some dense shade mix. So I grabbed that bag of dense shade mix, and I scattered some seed heavily. And as we come in, I can kind of show you, I threw down a ton of seed right here, took my hard rake, 
you can kind of see it more over here, some of the seed, and uh, took my hard rake and just kind of blended in some of this dirt that we had dug up, as well as the dirt that was here with the other plants, and just kind of roughly smoothed it over some. Um, there's no rocks, it's mainly dirt here, and just kind of took a rake to it and just blended it into the dirt. So around this tree, we may have, we'll see if some of this grass comes up. Even right here, I threw down a handful right here in the shade, you can kind of see some of the dense shade mix, not a ton, but just a little bit. Now remember, there's a couple things I wanted to, to mention about this. This is a test. Am I gonna be upset if this does not grow? Absolutely not. Um, I could care less and more than likely it may not grow. Why? Well, number one, we applied pre-emergent not too long ago, our first application. So by raking and breaking that barrier, um, I don't know how the seed will do. Um, I put down plenty enough to try to grow. Um, obviously we're in spring and I've been preaching for the past couple of days, you don't wanna plant seed in spring because of the heat that's coming. We don't have time for the roots to grow. Totally aware that. So the first part is we've broken our pre-emergent barrier right here. We've got seed, but soon coming up, we're going to be approaching the um, 65 degree mark in our soil and it's going to be time for round two of our pre-emergent so i have to remember when i'm doing that that when i get to this section we don't want to apply pre-emergent here because that will definitely stop our seed from growing we want to allow this section so i'm going to try to do my pre-emergent probably trim this out when i do prodiamine again and let this section go we'll see if we have more weeds we'll see if crabgrass comes up over here i don't know but hopefully we'll see we'll give this seed a chance is the point and so I just wanted to bring this to your attention. I'll constantly update you guys with this little section on the tree. Um, if it survives, it looks like it's doing well so far. It was healthy when we took it out of the potter plant in the front of the church. And so we'll see how it go goes and how it does. But we'll, we'll keep an eye on this. Being that we're in the shade, it's going to be 90s here in North Carolina. It gets 90, 95, 100% humidity. You know, we'll try to apply some hydrotain maybe down in this section when we do it with the rest of the lawn. But will the seed make it through the summer? My I bet would be probably not. Um, is there a chance because it's in the shade that it may have a better chance? Yeah, I, I guess so. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you think the seed may have a chance. Um, I wish it would have got that treatment of RGS that we did the other day, a little bit of starter fur or a little bit of that green effect, excuse me, um, a little bit of nitrogen in it to give it a little boost, but I'm not going to do anything special. Um, I'll let you guys know anything that I come and do to this section right here, this little circle area. I'll be sure and make you aware of it, whether we we apply a little bit of fur to it or whatnot but right now it's just dirt and seed that's it and so uh, when we do our pre-emergent obviously I don't want to spray prodiamine on it like I just mentioned because then we'll really be stop it'll really stop the growth uh, of the seed uh, what is not already sprouted and come forth so anyways let me know in the comments section below your thoughts it's a little test on my little teeny test plot here. You can kind of already see the shadow outline of the tree right here. Um, and, and it really makes that Jonathan Green look darker, at least in these sunglasses. Yeah, as I take them off, man, that's, you can already see some shadows beginning to appear. Um, anyways, with the trees behind me, you know, right above my head, you guys can see we're getting, we're getting the leaves sprouting. We got the pollen going here in North Carolina really strong. Um, so anyways, wanted to show that to you. Don't want to drag out the video anymore, but I'll keep you updated on the dense shade mix. I may come thicken it up just a little bit more because I don't have but a little bit of seed left. Um, and, and so anyways, we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see what happens and I'll let you know and we'll see if the seed can survive um, through the summer, which, hey, we need to say some prayer for it, I think, if we're going to have that to happen. So there you go as we wait for this gentleman to come and buy the old Husqvarna mower. Um, it's been a good mower for me. I actually bought that thing, uh, I think somewhere around 250, 280 back in Lowe's um, when I was still working the same job in, on Capitol Boulevard in Raleigh. Uh, that mower did a great job in my lawn. It was my first mower um, putting that striping kit on it. Uh, you know, at times I think the old Husqvarna striper looks a little bit better than the Honda. Here lately the Honda's really done well as I bumped up the height of cut the Honda mower actually looks a little better, but we'll keep an eye on this little section here, this little tree. Um, we'll mark obviously the area, the dirt, the, uh, the where we've just kind of raked in some seeds. So we'll see what happens 
there. Uh, again, I don't expect it to make it. It might sprout, might look awesome for you know a month or two, and then by the time we hit to June, it may kill all that grass off. We'll find out. We're really going to aerate it and plant it well in, in, uh, in the coming fall, so we'll take care of it then. But thank you guys for coming back for this lawn care midweek type short video. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Let me know in the comments how you're doing, how your lawn's going. Thank you guys once again for coming by the channel and watching. I appreciate the support. We'll see you on Friday with another lawn care video here on the channel. And please be sure to subscribe to Mr. Ferguson Vlog if you're interested in the midweek quickie. God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next one.